Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of this podcast where I will talk about several different books so that you always have a book to read and develop your habit of reading. Each episode will have between 5 to 10 minutes, will be available on Spotify and YouTube. Also, I'm going to talk a little about the author, the synopsis, what this book talks about, what I've learned with the book, to who I recommend it, and then some curiosities. In this first episode, I'm going to talk about The Dead Twist of Auschwitz, a bestseller of the writer Heather Morris. The writer was born in Awamutu, New Zealand, a small town in the middle of the North Island, and she is an only girl in a family of five children. Since a young age, Heather tried to write her own stories, something that didn't succeed the way she expected to. She has been to Melbourne, Australia, Christchurch, South Island of New Zealand, and she is currently living again in Melbourne. During her adventures, she never stopped telling stories, or, as her husband say, long and wide tales. Beside this book that I'm going to tell you about today, she also wrote Silka's Journey and Three Sisters. Who knows, someday this book will be talked here on this podcast. Well, The Dead Twist of Auschwitz is a story of love during the World War II and is based on a real story. The book tells us the story of the Dead Twist of Auschwitz and the woman who gained his heart. For you who may not know where Auschwitz was, it was the largest concentration camp where millions of prisoners were arrested and thousands of them were exterminated. Back to the story, Lale Sokolov arrives at Auschwitz-Birkenau in 1942, four years after the beginning of the World War II. Then, he is ordered to tattoo the prisoners by painting a sequence of numbers so they all can be controlled. That sequence of numbers later turned out to be a powerful symbol of the Holocaust. One day, Lale has to tattoo young ladies who came to the camp. It is in that queue where his lover is, Gita. And for Lale, as he deserved during his freedom before the war, it was love at a first time. And according to the book, he feels something very difficult to explain, a feeling that we only get it when we really feel it, love. And the story goes on describing the whole environment where Lala spends the most important and unforgettable time of his life. And their love story, trying to enjoy every second together, never sure that could be their last sunrise or sunset, they see they had to be constantly worrying about what would happen next and this is a book which explained to us what real love is a love who is prepared for everything that survives the bad times and especially a love that is fitting with hope and future plans that they imagine together so what i have learned with this book first was incredible to know how was the environment in concentration camps because until now i've only had seen the facts and the consequences of world war ii in history classes and in films so may probably this was the second book that i read about the world war ii and it helped me a lot to understand better um, the conditions that the prisoners had in concentration camps and although we may not have to pass through equal times, I mean, living in a war and especially on a concentration camp. It also helped me to realize that my life could be a lot worse. And sometimes I come home to home complaining about how miserable my life is. And don't think about other people that are suffering a lot more than me. So this book helped me in that way. Finally, it also taught me that it is in the toughest times that we find our friends, the people we care about, that help us a lot and with whom we spend an unforgettable times, just like happened with Lala. In the beginning, I said that this book is based on a real story. So the writer first met the Lala Sokolov in person and they did they started to talk and having conversations where Lale shared his story through the the time he spent in concentration camp. And that that's why Heather Morris decided to start writing a story about Lale. So if you like this type of books, 
and you don't want something too big or difficult to understand it, a book that let you be part of the story. Because in that book, we live, we enter the scene and we feel it in our skin. I strongly recommend it. Start reading now if you have a chance. If you got until the end, thank you very much for your time. And I hope you enjoyed the first episode of a mini. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any episode and give it your like. Bye and see you in the next book.